Well, hello, everybody. This is John Michael. Today, the gospel tells us it's the 31st Monday of Ordinary Time, by the way. And the gospel tells us that when we have a lunch or a dinner, we're not supposed to invite in friends or wealthy people or folks that can somehow repay us. We're supposed to invite in the lame and the crippled and the blind precisely because they cannot repay us. And then we'll be repaid in the resurrection of the just. So the question is, do we want to be noticed? Do we want to, re- do we want to be kind of rewarded for the good things that we do in this life? Now, don't get me wrong. I like it too. You like it. We like to be told, at a boy or at a girl, you know, good job. Uh, and we should affirm people. We should respect them. We should affirm them. We should thank them. But what about when it doesn't happen? Uh, do we get it all out of sorts when we're not noticed, when we don't, when, when our ministry, when our good works, when our love for, our, for people isn't, you know, we don't get anything back for it? Well, it feels funky, doesn't it? But the fact is, is that Jesus, again, he sets all of these things, he turns it all upside down. He says, that's when you should be happy because now you're going to get 30 and 60 and 100 fold in heaven in the resurrection of the just. Boy, this is like wild thinking, isn't it? It's backwards. But you have to think with an eternal perspective. I don't do it all the time. I'll be the first to tell you. I sometimes think that this little wink of an eye called life on earth is all I got. There's a wonderful prayer in the in the Coptic uh, liturgy of the hours called the Ashbeah, and one of the prayers is praying for repentance. It says, you know, if this life was all there was, well, maybe acting in a worldly way would be justifiable, but it's not. We're going towards eternity, outside of time and space, into the eternal now. That's where we're going to spend our whole life. This thing on earth. This is just a short earthly pilgrimage. So we have to have an eternal perspective. I pray you have that eternal perspective and it changes the way you treat people who don't treat you well. It changes your need to be noticed. You don't need to be noticed in this life. You're noticed by God in eternity. When you have that, it revolutionizes the way you function on the face of the earth and it makes you happier. And that's my prayer for you guys. I love you. All things are possible with God.